so today in this video we are going to simplify the given mixed fractions so here in first problem we have 3 whole 1 by 4 plus 4 whole 1 by 4 plus 6 whole 1 by 6 and we have to simplify these all mixed fractions so for that first of all we have to convert these mixed fractions into improper fractions so for that we have to multiply these both numbers and add with numerator so 4 times 3 means 12 plus 1 means it is 13 by 4 plus 4 times 4 means 16 plus 1 means it is 17 by 4 plus 6 times 6 means 36 plus 1 means it is 37 by 6 so we have converted these all mixed fractions into improper fractions so now we have to take the LCM of these all denominators because here is unlike fractions so the LCM of 4, 4 and 6 so the LCM of 4, 4 and 6 so it is 2 times 2 means 4 2 times 2 means 4 and 2 times 3 means it is 6 so again it is 2 times 1 means 2 2 times 1 means 2 and 3 as it is so lowest common multiple here becomes from here it is 2 into 2 and here 3 so 2 times 2 means 4 times 3 means it is 12 so the LCM of 4 4 and 6 is 12 so here is 13 so 13 into now we have to multiply the numerator with the divisor of 12 and 4 so 12 is divided by 4 means it is 3 plus 17 into 12 is divided by 4 means it is 3 plus 37 into 12 is divided by 6 means it is 2 so now 13 times 3 means it is 39 plus 17 times 3 means it is 51 plus 37 into 2 means 7 times 2 means 14 6 74 by 12 so 39 plus 51 means it is 90 plus 74 by 12 again 90 plus 74 means it is 164 by 12 so now we have to no whether these numbers can be cancelled or not so these both can be cancelled so it is 2 times 8 means 16 2 times 2 means 4 and 2 times 6 means 12 like as it can be again cancelled by 2 so 2 times 4 means 8 2 times 1 means 2 like as 2 times 3 means 6 so we got here 41 by 3 and now we have to convert them into mixed fractions so 41 is divided by 3 so it is 3 times 1 means it is 3 now it is 1 1 3 times 3 means it is 9 remainder is 2 so it is equal to quotient here is 13 so 13 remainder is 2 so 2 so it is 13 whole 2 by 3 it is our answer so in this way we can simplify the mixed fractions like as we have second problem is 3 whole 2 by 3 plus 12 whole 5 by 6 minus 4 whole 4 by 9 so like as in first problem we have to first of all convert them into improper fractions so for that we have to multiply these both numbers and add with numerator so 3 times 3 means 9 plus 2 means it is 11 by 3 plus 5 times 12 means 60 plus 5 means it is 65 by 6 minus 4 times 9 means 36 plus 4 means it is 40 by 9 now we have converted them into improper fractions so now we have to take the LCM of denominators 3 6 and 9 so the LCM of 3 6 and 9 so it is 3 times 1 means 3 3 times 2 means 6 and 3 times 3 means 9 therefore LCM is equal to 3 multiple 2 multiple 3 so it is 3 times 2 means 6 6 times 3 means it is 18 so 
the LCM of 3, 6 and 9 is 18. So now we have to multiply the numerator with the quotient of this. So 11 into 18 is divided by 3 means it is 6 plus 65 into 18 is divided by 6 means it is 3 minus 40 into 18 is divided by 9 means it means 2 so now 11 times 6 means it is 66 plus 65 times 3 means it is 100 95 minus 40 times 2 means it is 80 by 80 and now we have to add these both numbers so 6 plus 5 means 11 carry 1 6 plus 9 15 1 16 carry 1 1 plus 1 2 so by adding 66 and 195 we got here 261 minus 18 by 18 so now we have to subtract 261 minus 80 so it is 100 61 80 so 1 minus 0 1 16 it is 81 so it is equal to 81 by 18 so we got here 81 by 18 so if there is numbers which we can cancel then we have to cancel that numbers so it can be cancelled by 3 so 3 times 2 27 means 81 and 3 times 6 means 18 like as 3 times 9 means 27 and 3 times 2 means 6 so we got here 9 by 2 and we have to convert them into improper it is in improper form and convert them into mixed fractions so for that we have to divide 9 by 2 so 2 times 4 means it is 8 and 9 minus 8 means it is 1 so we can write it to quotient here is 4 so 4 remainder is 1 so 1 so 4 whole 1 by 2 is our answer so in this way we can simplify the fractions have mixed fractions so like as our last problem here is 2 whole 3 by 4 minus 3 whole 1 by 8 plus 1 whole 1 by 12 so as usual we have to convert them into first of all improper fractions so 4 into 2 means 8 plus 3 means 11 by 2 4 minus 8 times 3 means 24 plus 1 means 25 by 8 plus 12 times 1 means 12 plus 1 means it is 13 by 12. So we have converted the mixed fractions into improper fractions. Now we have to take the LCM of denominators 4, 8 and 12. So LCM of 4, 8 and 12. So 2 times 2 means 4. 2 times 4 means 8, 2 times 6 means 12, like as 2 times 1 means 2, 2 times 2 means 4, and 2 times 3 means 6. So we can write LCM is equal to 2 into 2 from here, like as from this part we can write 2 into 3. So it is 2 times 2 means 4, 4 times 2 means 8, and 8 times 3 means it is 24. So the LCM of 4, 8, and 12 we got is 24 so now here is 11 so 11 into and now we have to divide the numer lcm with the respective denominator so 24 divided by 4 means it is 6 minus 25 into 24 divided by 8 means it is 3 plus 13 into 24 divided by 12 means it is 2 so now it is 11 times 6 means 66 minus 25 3 means it is 75 plus 13 times 2 means it is 26 by 24. So now we have to add these both numbers. So 66 plus 26. So 6 plus 6, 12 carry 1, 6 plus 2, 8 carry 1, 9 minus 75 by 24 so 70 92 minus 75 so it is 17 92 minus 
75 means 17 by 24 so which is our answer so in this way we can simplify the given mixed fractions so in first step we have to convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions after that we have to take the LCM of denominators and then solve so this much for today and if you have any problem regarding math then just comment your question in a comment below and we shall provide a video solution of your question so thank you